Do not pay attention to them. Welcome, good day, and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. What is nowadays ruling your mind? Which thoughts do you spend most of time with? Maybe recently something has gone wrong and you're still angry about it. Or positive things, hobbies, meeting others, or new things to get. Maybe you plan to get a new car, a new place to live, a new house. Or other things. What is currently ruling your mind? Nowadays, most of us will not be at risk to worship idols in the traditional form of figures and shapes, although that is still a risk to some people. We need to be careful. In previous times, that was more common. Many people were at risk of that. And there are strong warnings in the Bible against it, especially in the Old Testament, even harsh warnings. God takes it serious. He should not worship any idols, neither in the form of figures and shapes, nor in any other topic that should become too important. We can test ourselves. What do we spend most of the time to think about when we have free time? Or at night when we cannot sleep, what do we think about? Even if we do not have anybody trustworthy to talk about, we can always talk to God. And that is the best thing to do. Because then automatically God gets the position that he deserves. We talk to him when we pray and we bring him all that is relevant for us. And then we can also forward his good news, his best news, the gospel, the salvation, the good news to others. Why are we often ashamed to proclaim it? Many people of other topics, even of other religions, are proud of what they report about. And we have the best of all news that brings life, eternal life, and fulfilled life already here. God gives new beginnings. We are called to watch out, to give the priority to God that he deserves, not any kind of idol or other thing. To Deuteronomy 13, prophets and interpreters of dreams may promise a miracle or a wonder in order to lead you to worship and serve gods that you have not worshipped before. Even if what they promise comes true, do not pay any attention to them. The Lord your God is using them to test you, to see if you love the Lord with all your heart. Follow the Lord and honor him, obey him and keep his commands. Worship him and be faithful to him. Even your brother or your son or daughter or wife or love or your closest friend may secretly encourage you to worship other gods. Some of them may encourage you to worship the gods of the people you live near or gods of far away, but do not let any of them persuade you. Do not even listen to them. Do not even listen to them. Let's pray. Lord, we ask for forgiveness where we do not listen to you. Where instead we listen to other kinds of things that try to influence us. You know better than us how many evil things are there out in the world. They all try to get our attention. Good things and evil things, all used by the enemy to distract us, to bring us away from you. Help us to stay with you alone. You alone are the eternal God, the creator of all that is of the whole universe. You deserve all honor. We ask for forgiveness where we let us distract by all kinds of things. 
good things and bad things. Help us to stay with you alone. To you be all praise and glory and honor forever. Amen.